Okay, so I'm here with Joe Drow, who's at the age of 19, a retired down end cricketer. Um, <laughs> Joe, how how come you did retire in the end? Um, it was a mixture of things towards the end. Um, I sort of I stopped when I was about 17, so I sort of cut, um, started to compare myself to players my age. Um, one of them is probably Ben Charlesworth, who you look at now, who's sort of um, been identified as a potential England player and I just thought mainly I thought I can't I'm not sure if I can see myself doing that so I thought in terms of um, stopping playing for Gloss I just thought that was probably the best time I got um, fast tracked in quite early when I was about 14 and I I didn't really have any idea what it was about Mm. Uh, I could just bat a little bit (laughs) and then over, over time um, I sort of started to understand and I sort of struggled a little bit to um, sort of really stand by authority and I think it all sort of came to an end and I, I realised I realised it. Um, what you say about, you know, that you compare yourself, was it a, was it a lack of self-confidence or, you know, I, I know you struggled with a bit of anxiety, if you don't mind me saying, um, yeah, no. about go, going out into the middle and batting because that was that was your strength was um, batting high in the order was you know did you struggle with stuff like that yeah I did a little bit um, I again I'd never really done it because I got sort of I was quite oblivious until I actually started and then as you sort of get older you realise you see different players you see how they're progressing yeah and yeah I just sort of saw it and I thought not sure if I can really do this for much longer and actually sort of fulfil. I wasn't someone who I didn't just want to play one first last game and that be it. I think that's yeah. pro- probably just a, a bit of a waste. So I thought if I just stop now, then that will sort of end end all the doubts that I have. Being at the county, um, I've been there myself. I felt quite a lot of pressure, but obviously you stayed in it for a while, you were in the academy and, you know, you were you were on the books to be, you know, the next big thing, if as it were, Joe. And um, yep. did you, um, you know, did you find any pressure? Did you find it was pressurising? I didn't necessarily feel pressure from coaches. Obviously, if, say, I played a bad shot, I'd know they'd maybe make a comment, but it was more sort of internally, I thought, I've invested so much time and yeah. obviously my parents and everyone else involved have invested so much time. I just felt like, yeah, at, time I felt, at times I felt a bit sort of um, squashed a little bit and that I couldn't really go out there and sort of play with freedom, which probably was my downfall sometimes. Mm. But, yeah, not necessarily pressure from other people, um, but definitely pressure from myself, yeah. I mean, I, don't, I know a lot of other people do that and obviously they dealt with it better, but, yeah. Um, from the doom and gloom, Joe. Sorry to start on that, mate. Um, but the uh, the the highs and you know your first early memories at Downing. Can you remember them at all? Yeah, I um, I started playing at school when I was probably ten. Um, and then one of my friends at school played for Downend and um, went along to the first Winter Nets. I think I might have turned up in whites. <laughs> and, um, yes, you, you were probably there. You were probably there. It was when we used to have it at Colston's, and it was the yellow, the yellow lighting, and I couldn't bat, I couldn't bowl. <laughs> I was rubbish. That's probably the first memory I have. So yeah. Um, from that first memory, can you remember, you know, a personal personal highlight at the club? Uh, or a few? Yeah. Um. The un, what was it? Under fifteen final. I got a hundred and four wickets. I think for personal, from a personal point of view, um, probably one that stands out. There's a couple that stand out sort of more recently. Um, winning a bath away, I think, was just a good sort of team achievement. Obviously, it's a hard place to go and play. Um, another one was a game against Bridgewater, where again I didn't get I didn't get many runs, but I was not out. It was quite satisfying. Um, Sort of in the middle of the season, it was a bit up in the air. Um, mm. and one of the county coaches was there as well, so that's probably one of the more satisfying things that I've, I've done it down in. A bit different to Bridgewater away last year. Oh, don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, you've played junior level. You've captained at junior level, and a question that I told you that I was going to ask you was, <laughs> you know, pick out three players that 
um, have caught your eye or you, you enjoyed playing with at, at that level and standard? Uh, I enjoyed playing with, um, for, for maybe not the right reasons, um, probably Sam Manning. Why um, not the right I reasons? Know, I, I know for the wrong reasons. I remember at Downing Dand, I, used, I captained him um, when he used to play districts as well. Yeah. And he always used to make me bowl first because he batted 12 so he could have as much tea as he wanted. <laughs> Um, other ones that stand out probably someone like George Duggan yeah um, yeah I mean there's there's those that I can name but in terms of just um, sort of turning up having fun with your mates they're probably the ones that stand out well, who's the best player that you've played with at county level Joe uh, probably Ben Ben Charlesworth I mean I, yeah I don't really need to explain that but you you could just sort of tell from even when we started when we were sort of 14 and then he got up to 17s so and he was sort of getting second team hundreds in it yeah he's, he's good and I've got just a, another quick fire question for you that you could maybe explain um, yeah. is, your, is your the best coach or you know the best coach you've had at county level because you've had quite a lot over your time yeah um, again I've had quite quite a few different um, quite a few different coaches go about things different ways but yeah. well, one that probably stands out is Dawks um, Owen Dawkins and Kashi I think from an early or well, when I first sort of started in the academy those were the two that I probably worked with the most and saw the most and it was quite sort of eye-opening um, talking to them and they always sort of um, sort of pushed me but um, I sort of had my back in a way um, so that was quite. Um, again, it was good. It was good to experience. Um, but yeah, even I think they were good and Muchy as well as good one. Paul Muchy, because if you if you were messing about, they they tell you. Um, but again, they were just really supportive um, and obviously highly skilled at what they do. So yeah, they're probably ones that stand up. You may, as you said, you turned up to whites in your first session. You probably, um, you probably didn't. You weren't the greatest cricketer for a few years, and then there was one nope. breakthrough season. Yeah. Um, explain that to me, because that, that's how it all came about. Yeah, there was, there was... It sort of... It came in stages, so I went for a trial, a district trial at under-12s, and again, I, I, I don't really know why, because I couldn't really battle bowl. <laughs> um, and then I got through, and then I sort of played that season again, didn't really do anything, and then... The, I think the like the end of the summer that year and then the winter, that was when um, I sort of started to improve. And then I was captain district next year. And then I did all right, um, yeah. sort of in, like, with, with our team. And then I went for a county trial. Again, first, um, like, yeah, my first part of the season, I didn't really do anything. No, and no. It was uh, Taunton Festival. The last two games, I got 70-odd. Yeah. Like, um, like the day, I think it was like Thursday and Friday, and then yeah, I went for a, the academy trial, and then within the space of I don't know a year probably, I went from back like not really contributing or being an okay district player to sort of having an academy trial and getting yeah. in. So yeah, quite um, quite a fast process, but I mean at the time I loved it. From from last season. Um... You played in the under nineteens quite regularly yeah. for for Downend. Um, under Mahardi, who was captain, and I'm doing a podcast with him later in the week, so it'd be interesting to hear his, his hear his story on this one. But can you remember Thornbury away? Can you? I know you're a sarcastic kid, but can you uh, at least give some truthful opinion to what happened last year? Is this when we should have won? Yes. <laughs> well, everyone makes mistakes, and I've made many on the field, and I'm sure you have as well. But yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm quite opinionated, so if I want something to happen, I'll say it. But yeah, yeah. I mean, we we'll, we move on. So you bought <laughs> you you practically bought yourself onto bowl in that game, Joe. Uh, yeah, I did. Um, and I bowled a right as well, actually. You did. You bowled very well, Joe. Sir. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, <laughs> you, would you ever come back into the game? Do you reckon? I mean, yeah, I don't see why not. I think, um, again, with coaching as well, I think I've got like quite a unique, um, not story, 
as such, but I think I can help help like kids, um, mm. which is obviously what me and you're doing now with the under 11s. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't see why not. I, I know I'll always be involved. Yeah, way or the other, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Do in the you, future, yeah. Yeah. Do you enjoy coaching the under eleven under elevens with myself on a Saturday morning? Do you wish that we had had those games this summer to see what see what work we have actually put in? Yeah, absolutely. Because if obviously we're not a club with huge resources, we can sort of just fork out money to to pay um, sort of like semi pros if you yeah. if you want to call it that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's important from a from a young age. And I think the good thing about um, good thing about Downing is you see. You see a progression into the first team. You look at people like Laudy, um, yeah, like Hamdi, and I mean, there's a bunch of people, even like Sam Sackett, yeah. um, like recently that come from they play under 11s, 13s, 15s, 17s, 19s, and they play adults. So I think it's a really clear and good system that we've got. Actually, I don't think many other clubs would have a sort of um, a youth structure as strong as us. So yeah, I mean, it's exciting, but it's unfortunate at the same time that we probably not be able to play much. Joe, it's great to hear from you. And it's, do you know what? Thanks for being honest for once. For the Over lockdown, you haven't <laughs> given me one honest opinion on anything. So thank you very much for spending time with me, mate. Been a pleasure. Been a pleasure. <laughs>